You light a candle and you pray uh, for their spiritual journey. Now, will my grandma come through? Because that's something that's new to, you know. What do you mean come through? Like come and visit you? Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> What's up everyone? Lopez Fan Bam here. And uh, today I thought we'd talk about faith and how we're sharing it with our kids. So growing up in a uh, traditional Mexican family, um, you pretty much grow up Catholic. There's really no, uh, there's really no choice. And everyone uh, from my neighborhood to family and friends, uh, everyone was Catholic around me. And um, my grandmother, my Nana Rosa went to church literally every day, six in the morning, every wow. day. Um, that's commitment right there. My mom and dad, my mom was actually more of the, the church goer, um, and my dad, you know, the occasional, if we made him a Christmas or whatever. Um, and I started going just because I felt guilt, guilty, like a Catholic guilt. Um, but as I got older, it became a little more important to me, and I started to build a little more spiritual muscle. Um, and now I feel it's very important to share it with, with, our with our kids and have a foundation because kids need to have something or else they're going to turn to something else. And usually that's negative. Um, so I feel it's, in, oh, is that funny? So, <laughs> so, I, so I feel it's, uh, it's important to, to raise them with some sort of um, guidelines and, and uh, a solid foundation and, and whatever it may be. I mean, we happen to be a Catholic family, but whatever it may be, I've always been fascinated and support all different types of spirituality uh, and religions. And as I said, as I've gotten older, I've decided to build more spiritual muscle and it was important to me. And I feel fortunate enough to be able to send my kids to, um, oh, they still got you. to Catholic school uh, because I started going as a kid. I don't know if you know this, but I started going to um, a school as a kid, mm -hmm. but they used to paddle you back in the day. What? Paddle you, they used to hit you. Oh, listen oh, to no. this. Listen to this. <laughs> this is a true story, Gia. Back, back when I was going, this makes me feel old, but back when I was going, back in school, in Catholic school, um, if you stepped out of line, if you did something bad, they would paddle you. After getting paddled uh, uh, quite a few times, because I, I was a hyper kid and I didn't listen too much, yeah. I'll never forget, Nana, my mom, went down there and said, no one's gonna be paddling my kids anymore. If anyone's gonna hit my kids, it's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget sure. that. And so she took me out of the school. And now, of course, they don't allow you to uh, paddle your kids. <laughs> I can't believe it. It seems like archaic, but yeah, that's what they did yeah. just, you know, not, not too long ago. So it was important for me to have our kids grow up having a faith-based uh, education. Um, and I'm really happy that uh, uh, my wife's supportive of it. I grew up in a Catholic family as well. Um, Italians, all Italians are Catholic. Yeah, well. my brother and sister both went to a Catholic school up until it was time for high school. And then by the time it was my turn to go to school, um, my parents couldn't afford it anymore. So I was a public school girl my whole life, um, which is great. It was great where I went. I am a CCD dropout. Oh. My mother had to beg the priest to let me make my confirmation so that I could get married into a cat. I was dancing, I was that dancing was, that, and- That's so shady. I was dancing every weekend. So I just was, I, my focus was on different things. Um, you know, it was just a different time than when my brother and sister grew up. Cause my sister, I'm the baby. My sister's 10 years older than me. My brother's six years older than me. So a lot changed during those years and the focus was different. And Yeah, and, and it, I'm happy that I didn't um, have to really uh, uh, convince her or she respected how I felt and I'm not out there uh, being uh, aggressive with, with, with anyone. I mean, I was very, I'm very mm. private with it and, and um, just for us as a family, I like the, the, the foundation and my parents obviously like it and my mom and um, my grandparents, they rest in peace, they just passed and so I know they're appreciative. and, and uh, you know, um, as far as going to Catholic school, which by the way, I'm a big fan of because of the uniforms. I oh, love I the love fact it. that they I wear uniforms. It. You don't have to deal with, a, what am I gonna wear today? Mm -hmm. Try to keep up with the Joneses and my that hardest, can get pricey. My hardest problem when Gia has to wear her mask dress is whether or not she's going to wear tights or knee highs or socks. That's my hardest decision <laughs> depending on the weather. Yeah. And so knee highs. Knee highs, always. So I'm sure a lot of parents can relate. I mean, uh, that's a lot of pressure with uh, uh, this with the wardrobe. So that's, I, I love the whole uniform thing. I wish I had that um, 
uh, later on. She is gonna have her first Holy Communion coming up. That's gonna be. That's a big, that's second. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I forgot that I was in first grade. Yeah, well, congratulations. <laughs> you. So we gotta think, and we have to think about uh, our uh, um, Nino and Nina's, our, our godparents, because you got a set of godparents for that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Nico's still in Montessori school, and he's gonna start uh, Catholic school, what, next year or the, or the year no, after? No, his birthday is after the cutoff. So yeah, oh yeah, they're both right after. You ready to start? You wanna go to school with Gigi? Yeah. Are you gonna be a good boy at Catholic school? Yeah, because if not, I, I might have to bring the old school paddle back. What do you think? No, no, no please. <laughs> okay, but you know, and, and other things too, sort of spiritually based, and well, no, it is, is is uh, Dia de los Muertos we're gonna start recognizing this year as mm -hmm. a family. But to be honest, we kind of got uh, inspired by the movie Coco. Sure did. Which is an awesome movie. Yes. But essentially you're okay. um, honoring uh, your loved ones who are now deceased, your, your ancestors, and you light a candle and you pray. Uh, for their spiritual journey. So Gia, how often do they have you praying to school? Uh, only when it's time to kneel down in church. <laughs> when you have mass? When you have yes. mass? Or, and when it's time, when we enter the classroom, when we, before we eat. You have a morning then, prayer. Yeah, and then. There's a lot of prayers. Then, we, then when we leave, school and then yeah that's so it you're basically praying all day <laughs> <laughs> and you know one thing about prayers there's there's no rules you can do it sort of like a conversation with with god on your own and sort of my only form of uh, uh kind of meditation and, and uh, times to chill out um and it's one of the few things if everybody's busy i'll do alone and again catholic guilt as i'm older if i don't if i miss mass then i'll go light a candle like i did this past week mm -hmm. so our sunday move is we'll go to mass um, at G school, and uh, usually afterwards we hit up a mariachi brunch, <laughs> where we proceed to drink sangria, the blood of Christ. <laughs> that's our that's our goal weekly, but yeah, we're that's always goal, so busy working, yeah. and you know, right, right. He, he doesn't have a normal schedule, Monday yeah. through Friday job. But so. if we're here, that's what we, you know we'll try to do. Yeah. And if not, then you know we're lighting candles. What I like about being Catholic is that I can take my dog to school for the blessing of the animals. Mm -hmm. That's right, the blessing of the animals. Julio's yeah. Catholic too. It's great because right after school starts in August, and I believe this is usually in October. Um, we get to take our pets in the morning um, to the school and everybody sees everybody's pets and then the priest does the, the blessing of the animals and it's just so sweet. It really is sweet. Julio gets so excited. He got so excited last time that he actually did number two right in front of everybody as the prayer was happening. But, but, um, it, was, but it was blessed number two. Yeah, <laughs> sacred poo. The family the that prays together stays together. Stay together. <laughs> so that's how we uh, incorporate faith into our yeah. family and we want to know how do you um, incorporate religion or spirituality in, in, into your family or, or maybe you don't and, and why? You want to let them figure it out? Uh, let us know, please. Please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.